guys, it's me and Larry. Say hi to the camera. Hi! So in this video, I'm gonna be trying Pilates for a week and I'm gonna bring you along with me on my journey. All right, so Pilates. You've probably seen it everywhere the last year. It's kind of like the new cool girl thing. I don't know. If you don't know what Pilates is, basically Pilates is a form of exercise which concentrate on strengthening your body with an emphasis on core strength. And it also concentrates on posture, balance, and flexibility. Also focus on the mind and body connection because you do really have to pay attention to your breathing and just your body when you do the workout. I literally just had to google that because I never knew like the definition of Pilates. Also I was today's age when I found out that Pilates is a person's name. The guy who invented it, his last name was Pilates so that's very interesting. There are several reasons why I'm trying out Pilates. First is better posture. If you guys watch my other videos, you know that I care a lot about improving my posture. Also doing Pilates for better flexibility because I am literally the least flexible person on the planet. I'm not even joking. Also, it's a fun way to challenge myself this year. Ever since I went to the gym, I have been more open to trying out new fitness activities and just kind of see what I'm capable of. I feel like I have always put myself in a box and underestimated my ability. So I think it's great to step out of my comfort zone and trying out new things and also um, for apps as well because I I've been doing weight training for around a year now. I do weight training three times a week, but I mainly focus on building a booty. So I just do butt exercises, legs exercises, and I don't really do a lot of apps. So when I do Pilates, I wanna focus more on my apps and trying to get that 11 line apps. You know, because right now my stomach is not that defined. I also chose to do one-on-one -on -one sessions instead of a class because I have to film everything and I don't want to make other people uncomfortable. If I was going to a workout class and someone was there with a camera, I would probably feel uncomfortable and I don't want to make other people feel like that. So I chose to do just a one-on-one -on -one class with a trainer, but I'll probably go try out a couple classes soon because I want to know what the vibe is like when you work out with other people. All right, so. So first day. Okay guys, this is my outfit. Okay, I have these leggings, my little bra top, this shrug, and I'm going for this gray black theme. So I have these really cute um, ballet socks. Và khi mình thở ra bằng miệng Cảm nhận hai xương sườn của mình được đóng vào Rốn này, thắt chặt vào bên trong Và bây giờ mình sẽ đặt tay hai bên sườn này Mình sẽ cảm nhận khi hít vào Xương sườn được mở ra Và khi thở ra Đóng thật chặt vào Càng chặt càng tốt Cái phần di chuyển duy nhất ở đây là hai cái phần xương sườn này Mở ra và đóng vô Còn cái phần ngực và cái phần dưới không di chuyển nhiều mình sẽ kiểm soát nó và mình thở vào của mình nhét ít áo thở ra ok rất tốt ít áo lên và mình sẽ kiểm soát nó đi xuống từ từ lên từ từ ok thở ra này bỏ chặt cơ bụng cố lên cố lên bỏ chặt cơ bụng vào bỏ chặt cơ bụng vào ít áo lên lên Gồm chặt cơ thì không có đau phần lớn sau Khi vào ở đây, thở ra xuống Thở xuống Đúng rồi, mũi chân lên xuống mình với ngương này Đúng rồi, rất tốt Bây giờ giữ ở bóng nhá, ít vào ở đây, thở ra Kéo nó về như vậy luôn Hít vào đây, thở ra xuống này, chân lên, chân lên, chân lên, đúng rồi, lên này, chân cao lên, thở, 
rồi và một cái mà mình đang gặp phải đó là cái hông của mình yeah. và bên này không hơi lệch một chút cho nên là khi mà mình xuống á mình xuống mình bị nghiêng ra bên này này còn khi mà mình xuống thường là mình sẽ cần cái bút cái hai cái hông của mình xuống đây xuống thẳng 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 cố gắng kiểm soát nó ok bắt đầu hít vào đấy thở ra xuống đúng rồi thẳng rồi rất tốt So the first day, it was so fun to kind of figure out how the machines work because I've seen them all over social media. I've seen people doing all sorts of stuff with them, but it was really fun because my trainer let me try all of the machines that were there, the reformer, Cadillac, and the barrel machine. So I kind of get an idea of what it's like to work out on all of them and the type of exercises that you can do. I also learned to breathe properly because you need to breathe in a specific way when you do Pilates. If you've done yoga before, it's pretty much the same type of breathing. It was still kind of difficult for me to try to remember to breathe properly while you're on these crazy machines being hooked onto all these wires and try to focus on all these little details. For the exercises, I did have some experience with them. The first type of workout that I ever learned was actually Pilates through Block Pilates, of course. Back when I was a teenager, when I first searched workouts on YouTube, Block Pilates came up. She was like the queen of that era. And I did a lot of mad Pilates workout with her. So I kind of remember the exercises that I used to do, but it was more elevated. I was shaking like crazy and I was sweating like crazy you sweat so much doing Pilates like I don't even sweat that much when I do weightlifting actually I get really sleepy when I do weightlifting I don't know why I'm like constantly yawning when I'm at the gym it's just so boring to me at the end of the session my trainer let me um, try to hang on the Cadillac machine and it was really scary at first I didn't completely nail the pose but I'm gonna try again the next day This session, I mainly used the Cadillac machine. We did a lot of abs exercises. It was absolutely killing me. Also, my arms were so weak during some of the exercises. I could have done more because my abs we're doing fine, but my arms hurt so badly. I have zero strength. <laughs> And one of the things that I struggled the most with was being mindful of my breathing and focus on multiple parts of my body at the same time. I also have the worst body coordination. I can only kind of focus on like one part of my body at one time. If I have to like focus on multiple things, I get super overwhelmed. So it was so difficult. Like I had to remember to breathe the correct way, but also engage my core and then keep my legs straight, keep my toes pointed keep my arms straight keep my eyes looking at a certain direction it was so overwhelming <laughs>
but at the end of the session I tried to hang on the Cadillac machine again and I did it successfully I thought I was average but my trainer told me that it's actually kind of rare to be able to do that on like the second session so I don't know if she was just hyping me up or I'm like gifted at Pilates I don't know I feel like Jenny from Blackpink. I'm like obsessed with the picture of her hanging on the Cadillac machine. I'm gonna put it here and I wanted to do that. So during this session, I mainly worked on the barrel machine. It looked really simple, but the exercises were actually kind of hard. <laughs> You really need to like balance your body in a certain way and I was really terrified that I was gonna fall even though my trainer told me that it's pretty much impossible to fall but I was just like so scared. One thing about Pilates is that at the end of every set, for the last rep, you have to kind of hold the pose from 5 to 10 seconds and that's when it really fucking burns. It burns like crazy, okay? At the end of the session, I also did some challenges on the Cadillac machine and I did them all effortlessly, I would say. I just need to stretch more so I can straighten my legs more because that's like kind of an issue that I need to work on. <laughs> Okay guys, last day. We got this. For the last day, I was kind of doing the same exercises that I did on the first day. But my trainer told me that I was able to do it a lot better than the first day. Like I had more control of my breathing and more control of my body in general. <laughs> But for me personally, while I was doing it, it didn't feel any easier. Like I was still dying, I was in pain, I was struggling, I was sweating, all of that. And then of course at the end of the session we try some more challenges Alright, so that's my experience trying out Pilates for a week. It was seriously so fun and it's definitely something that I want to keep doing because I really, really want to be more flexible and be able to do all these poses that I saw on Pinterest. I want to master all of it. As for body transformation, obviously I only did four sessions, so of course there's not going to be any drastic changes. I do feel like my core is a little bit more toned, but of course no defined abs or anything yet. I do feel like my posture is slightly better, but I've also been going to the gym regularly and work out my back so it probably helped with my posture as well because my back is stronger i'm gonna keep doing it and i'll probably do a 30 days doing pilates 
video that will probably give more drastic results so if you want to see that let me know in the comment section and if you like this video please give it a like for the algorithm I'm gonna go try out a class but so far I really enjoy doing one-on-one -on -one session I'm gonna link where I go to do Pilates down in the description below if you live in Saigon and you want to try it out I really like my trainer they don't offer classes only one-on-one -on -one sessions so it's a bit more private if that's what you're looking for but yeah let me know what else you want to see from me if you enjoy like my fitness content I have been very active okay I've been trying out a lot of new things and it genuinely make me so happy and change my life I might be coming for the fitness world so if you want to see more like fitness content from me let me know thank you so much for watching I appreciate it so much as always and I'll see you in the next video. Please say bye. Bye bye.